Are Christians allowed to work on Sundays? In the first creation account in the book of Genesis, it culminates at the very beginning of chapter two. And it says, thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. And on the seventh day, God completed the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it, he rested from all the work he had done in creation. And that, that, that story, that understanding of creation and God's uh, plan and creation, God's Sabbath rest, um, it really forms the, the, the foundation for our understanding of the importance of the day of the Lord. Now, uh, now, throughout the history of the Jewish people and up until the time of Jesus, what had developed around the Sabbath day is, is a protection around that to make sure that no work at all uh, was done on the Sabbath day, that you didn't do anything, that you didn't boil water, you didn't turn on a light, um, you didn't do anything that might violate uh, this, this command of God to do no work on the day of the Sabbath to honor what God had done when he created the world. And Jesus actually has this great line. This is actually a line that other uh, rabbis had said it as well, is that the Sabbath is for man. Man is not for the Sabbath. So the Sabbath day of rest actually exists for us. So we as Christians who celebrate our Sabbath, celebrate uh, the Lord's day on Sunday, because that was the day that Jesus rose from the dead, um, that the early Christians who were Jewish, they would, would go to the synagogue, they would go to the temple on Saturday, and then on Sunday they would come together in the homes and celebrate the Eucharist, celebrate Mass. Um, and the, on that day, it's important that we set that day aside as a day, um, not just of rest where you don't do work, but a day dedicated to the Lord, a day dedicated to real and authentic leisure. And I think that's something that we need to, to maybe uh, rediscover in our own time, that we live in such a busy frenetic world. Um, it's, it's frantic. There's activities going on all the time that um, even those of, of us who, uh, who work, a lot of times we're getting work emails on our phones everywhere we go, even while we're driving, that there's really no off switch uh, in our modern society from the, the frantic activity and frenzy of work. So I think it's, it's something that uh, may be a challenge for us to rediscover how can we make this day, uh, this Sunday, a day dedicated to the Lord and to really those things that recreate us, that, that make us more human. Because on the Lord's Day, what we're challenged to do is, is to really make that a day where we're not seeking to, to do uh, productive activities. We're seeking to do things that, that have leisure, that allow us to enjoy our time with God, but also our time with our family and our friends. So for those that are in positions where they have to work on Sundays, those that are maybe in, in service positions, those that work in hospitals, um, sometimes, you know, myself as a priest, I work on Sundays. Um, that, that's okay, but are we still making time during our week to allow ourselves to rest, to allow ourselves to unplug, allow ourselves to make time to be able to listen to the voice of God, to the voice of the people around us, and uh, to, to not allow just that tidal wave of activity and, um, and busyness overcome us. So I think the challenge for us today with that question, can you work on Sundays, is it is possible to work on Sundays. It's not necessarily a sin, but I think we need to re-examine what we do. Are we doing things for the sake of doing them? Are, are we doing them just to fill up time? Are we kind of buying into that lie that I need to be busy at all times? Because if so, we need to allow this command of the Lord, this invitation from God to cultivate and, and, and allow that time to become holy, to push back those things that maybe that maybe we've been allowing to to sweep in and, and to keep us from hearing the voice of God to m making that rest with God and with those that we love. So hopefully this upcoming Sunday you'll take some time to rediscover that to take time for worship to go to mass, um, but also to uh, maybe um, not do the busy work that you were hoping to do on Sunday and to allow yourself to just enjoy being um, with God and with those that you love. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this latest episode of Made for Glory. If you like these videos and you wanna help partner with us to get them out to uh, more people and to make more videos, uh, please consider becoming one of our patrons on our Patreon page. You can check out the link for that below. And uh, by partnering with us, you help many more people to see these videos and you help us to continue to bring quality content to you and to many more people. Um, also, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to these videos across all the social media platforms. And thank you so much, and have a great day.